Hey there, my name is Heather and I am a quantum healing practitioner. And in this video, I wanted to share with you some ways that you can raise your vibration and shift your frequency and understand why that's even important. But before we get to that, I wanted to remind you that I have a brand new quantum healing starter guide. It's a 32 page free guide to help you learn simple ways that you can keep your energy balanced and aligned so that you can feel your very best every day. I'll leave the link below in the description box if you'd like to grab a copy. So in this video, I wanted to share just a few ways that you can raise your vibration and shift your frequency. And I want to talk about why that's even important. So going back a few years ago when I had sort of what I call my massive awakening, um, that's when everything sort of started rushing into my reality at once. Like all of these crazy topics and, and new ideas that I had never heard of, I felt like it sort of got all dumped in my lap at the same time. I don't know about you, um, I know I've worked with some people that feel like they've been waking up over a period of years and it's just sort of happened gradually. But I chose to be thrown in head first. <laughs> I think it was like, okay, just I'm going to get to a point and then I just want you to pick me up and throw me in and I've got this. So when you first start your awakening, I don't know if you can sort of resonate with this or what your experience has been, but you have this feeling that I need to tell everybody like they need to know they need to see things the way I see them they need to understand that you know this universe is so much bigger than than what we've been told and and what we understand and and hey you're not just a human you are a soul that has been around for possibly eons of time and you've had all these different experiences you just don't remember it you know you want to tell everybody everything but I learned early on that each one of us is own is we're on our very own awakening path and awakening journey. And like I said, I chose to sort of be tossed in, <laughs> you know, head first, kicking and screaming, here you go, we're gonna wake you up. But other people are waking up in a much slower way, and they're waking up in different ways. So it, it's not always the way that that you know you experience your own awakening. So I had to learn that, but I felt this sense of urgency because you start to see the shift that we're going through and you do want people to sort of begin the process of working on themselves and doing the inner work to release, you know, all of this um, sort of third dimensional you know, programming and the belief systems that we've been holding um, because that's what's keeping us sort of stuck, stuck down in the lower dimension, stuck down in the lower energy is all the programming and the belief systems. You know, you want us, you want people to see the toxins in our environment and, and ways that they can sort of avoid those things. And, um, you know, and then of course, if you came in learning about extraterrestrials and you know that that we're not the only life in the universe, you know, you want to tell everybody that you feel this sort of urgency. But I got to tell you, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because if they're not there, if their consciousness is not ready to start its expansion process, it's like you know, it doesn't work. So I can remember talking to my guides and saying, okay, what do I do? What do I do? What am I supposed to do with all of this? You know, I, I'm feeling like I can't, I can't communicate what I want to communicate and feel like I'm being heard. And so my guides repeated to me over and over and over again that it's not so important as to what I tell people. My words are not as important as my frequency and my vibration. And this is before I really understood that we're an energetic being, you're made up of energy, and that energy is vibrating at a certain rate of a certain speed, and that speed creates your frequency. So if you think of, you know, inanimate objects like a table, a wooden table is also made of energy, but that energy is vibrating at a very, very, 
very slow speed, which makes it a solid wooden table. Whereas we, as a human being, we're vibrating at a much higher speed, which makes us who we are and have the abilities, you know, that we do. And so as I'm, as I'm learning all of these you know, I, I didn't understand that at first. And, and I also didn't understand that this shift in consciousness that we're moving through is all about all of us collectively, like all humans on earth, having to shift their frequencies and raise their vibrations, because that's what's pushing us into the higher states of consciousness, into the higher dimensions, if you will. So I wanted to tell everybody and the guides kept saying, you're not going to reach people in that way because they're not ready. It, and that's okay. That's everybody is on their own journey, their own path, and they're going to wake up in the time that their guides, their higher self, and their soul chose. And they're not going to wake up any faster just because you have all this information that you want to share. It just does not work that way. So they continue to tell me to work on yourself, go within, find the programming and the belief systems that you need to shift, that you need to release, do the inner work, do the healing, do the meditating, you know, allow the purging and releasing of all that energy, allow that to come up. You, you work on yourself. Because what they showed me over and over again was the more that I could shift my frequency, the more that I could release all of the belief systems and programming that I held, and the more I shifted in my own frequency, that is, is how you help others. That is how you help them to shift in their own in their own frequencies and their own vibrations to, to, to begin that process of releasing because our energy is connected. So when you're around another person, our energies, you know, your energy is, is sort of commingling, <laughs> mixing together. You know, it's like this. Have you ever walked into a room where someone is just in a really bad mood or they're really angry and you can almost feel that energy coming off of them and it doesn't feel good. But the same thing is true when you go into a room where everyone's happy and joyous. That energy is contagious. So if you can understand that your energy is directly connected to and affecting those who are around you, then as you work to shift your frequency, to raise your vibration, to let go of things that are no longer serving you and to get yourself into a positive state of being, doesn't mean you have to be positive all the time. Definitely need to work on your shadow side and, and start to understand what makes you behave sometimes in, in some of the not so great ways and just work on that integrate that within because you want to be a balanced person the dark side and the light side those need to come together nicely but understanding that your frequency and your vibration when you're around another person and especially one who's not awake who's not on this journey yet who is not experiencing what you are you are helping them so much more by simply working on yourself and doing the inner work because your energy is sort of helping to pull them up. It's helping to shift their consciousness and it's helping them to begin to release some of that density that they hold inside. Even if you have no idea that you're doing that. You know, a lot of us are here to hold the light and to hold these higher states of consciousness, to hold the higher vibration and, and to raise our frequency because that is how we're contributing to the collective in the very best way. So I wanted to share that with you because um, I wrote a post um, on, the, on the website on awakenascending.com and it is how to raise your vibration and shift your frequency. And in it, I'm sharing 15 ways, 15 very easy, very simple ways that you can begin to work on yourself and release some of that density, just clear out some of that energy and shift your vibration. Because the goal, again, is not to try to get others to believe 
your belief system or to try to see things the way that you see it if they're not there yet. <laughs> and it's very difficult. I've worked with so many beautiful souls in quantum healing hypnosis sessions that say the same thing. They try to share and it's just crickets. <laughs> you get the deer in the headlights look or you, you feel like, you know, they're looking at you like, oh, she's done she's done falling off the the cliff there <laughs> she's gone we're just gonna have to let that one go but that's just how it is that's how it is for anyone who is on their awakening journey more than likely you're not gonna have a lot of people around you that are going through that same experience and that's okay you chose to go first so that was just how you you picked it before coming into this incarnation so let's talk about just a few ways that you can begin to raise your vibration, shift your frequency, because that's going to help you have the best, most powerful effect on anyone and everyone around you. I'm just going to go through a few because I'm going to leave the link to the post in the description box. And if you want to see the entire post, um, you can check that out. I've got links to videos that I've created that are going to help you with some of those areas. So it's, it's all listed below. But let's talk about a few ways. Number one, get out into the sun. I think we all know, well, we've all been programmed to believe that the sun is really bad. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Um, and, and I know the sun, too much sun can be bad on the skin, but having the sun in smaller quantities just getting out and allowing the sun to absorb in your skin you're bringing in not only vitamin d which is an important vitamin that we need to make us feel good and to to help us to be happy but you are also bringing light into the body and as you bring more light into the body that is helping to raise your vibration plants absorb light and you know um, i've talked in the past about eating plants that are or eating more fruits and vegetables because they hold light and they are also going to bring that light into the body you are a light being underneath this physical human form that is what your consciousness is your soul however you want to look at it and anytime you can bring more light into the body that's going to help to raise your vibration and shift your frequency so another great way is to meditate with light energy. This is something that I do with clients in quantum healing hypnosis sessions. Um, I absolutely love it because we go in and we release a lot of the dense, heavy energy that gets trapped in the body. And we work with the most beautiful healing frequencies or light. We're bringing in light into the body and that is helping to push out all of that density, push out all of that low frequency energy, and really um, just begin the healing process within the body. So you can meditate with light energy. You don't have to have a, a session to do so. And if you check out the blog post, I've linked to a couple of videos where I specifically teach you how to work with light in meditation to bring it in the body and to run it through your body to push out that low frequency energy so that you are raising your vibration. Going for a walk in nature is so powerful because again, I've said this so many times, trees, plants, even the animals that are in nature, the birds, the butterflies, all of these beautiful creatures that are out there, they hold such a high frequency and, and so much positive, beautiful energy. And again, going back to our energy is all connected. Your energy is going to connect with those plants, those trees, um, those animals. It's, it's all intertwined. So if you are spending time around high vibrational um, plants and animals, you're going to pick up that energy and you're going to bring it into the body, which is going to help you to shift. Another way is to learn how to clear and balance your chakras. Now, these are major energy centers that run through the center of your body. And again, energy gets blocked. I mean, it can get blocked anywhere in organs, in different areas of the body, but especially the chakra system. So learn about the chakra system, understand what each chakra sort of is responsible for. And when you start to learn the chakras, you can understand how when you have a block in a certain chakra, you may start to experience um, 
some negative negative emotions in your life. For instance, the root chakra is all about your home, feeling safe in your home, feeling like you have enough. So if you're feeling lots of feelings of lack, if you're not feeling safe in your environment, in your space, you may need to do some root chakra work. So each chakra is responsible for different things. The throat, if you feel like you're not being heard, or if you're afraid to speak up for yourself, if you're afraid to to talk to somebody about something because you're in fear of their reaction, a little throat chakra work may help with that. It may help to release that energy so that you can really speak your truth and be who you are without worrying about what anyone is going to say or what they're going to think or what, what you might experience. So again, on the post, I have a video that is a chakra healing meditation. You can do that at home and it just helps you to bring light all the way through those chakras so that you can make sure they're clean and clear and open and the the energy is moving, moving through them. Do some exercise or some yoga, some stretching. Once again, I always go back to the energy that gets stuck within the body. And when you're moving your body through dance, through exercise, through stretching, that is helping to release some of that energy that's gotten stuck in there and move it and shift it through the body. So that is one way of releasing that energy so that you can raise your vibration. And the last one I'm going to share with you today is to learn how to stay focused in the present moment. Now, this is so powerful, but one that can be a little challenging, I got to admit. You know, most of us, and I'm going to include myself, we, we like to think about, well, maybe not like to think about, but we do think about experiences or events or things that happened to us in the past, especially if someone hurt us or someone said something that sort of rubbed us the wrong way. or you had you know a a bad day at work or, or whatever it was you know we like to sort of think about that a little too much we get ourselves upset we want to talk about it too much we want to call our friends and family and tell them about this terrible experience that we had but all you're doing when you're doing that is you're keeping that energy active in your vibration you're keeping that energy active in your vibration and every time you go back to a past experience and you start to focus on it and talk about it and think about it you're pulling that energy back into your present moment which again can create the emotions and the feelings that start the whole process of becoming blocked with the energy that's not being you know released in the correct way so you try want to try to avoid that if if at all possible. What happens too when you start focusing on things in the past is you end up projecting things into the future. So these are the worries and the what ifs. Well, what if this happens? Well, what if that happens? I have learned to live by, you know what, if it happens, I can handle it. And if I can't handle it, I'll figure out how I'm going to handle it. But I'm not going to worry about it until it gets there. I'm not going to think about the what ifs until the what ifs happen. Because that is precious energy that you could be using to focus on all the positive and wonderful things in your life. But you're taking up too much space with that sort of cycling thought process. So you're worried about what happened in the past and then you're creating all of these possibilities in the future and more than likely those possibilities are never going to even manifest into your reality. You've just wasted a lot of your precious time that you could be doing something fun and raising your vibration. You know, you're you're spending it focusing on things that are not necessary. So if you can learn a great way to bring your attention back to the present moment, um, I like to do this with gratitude. I don't really have to do it anymore because I've learned to just stop the thought. I've learned how to say, nope, you're not thinking about that. And I will shift my focus onto what I'm doing in the present moment. But if you're having trouble because your mind wants to sort of spin in that loop, what you do is you use some gratitude. That's It's a very easy way to look around your space, look around your home, look around at your family, your friends, and find all these little ways that can be tiny. They don't have to be big, big things of gratitude. It can be really small. 
Um, you know, if you have hot water in your home, you can just be grateful for hot water, for showers, for the food that you have in your refrigerator, for, you know, your favorite pet, for the plants and flowers outside. No matter what you're going through, I really feel like you could find some things to focus on. And even if you have to repeat the same thing, that's okay too. Because what I want you to do is retrain your brain to stay out of that loop, to stay out of the past, projecting it into the future. I want you to stay focused on the present moment. And what's happening when you start to focus on gratitude and bring your your brain back, your mind back into that present moment, is you stop that looping pattern eventually you have retrained your brain not to go there, which is amazing. It will not spin, it will not cycle through those thoughts. It's just a matter of finding something that works for you and 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 really practicing it, bringing it into play. So every time you notice my mind is wandering off in that direction, I know is not going to, going to put me in the energy that I want to be in. So I need to find a way to bring myself back into into the present moment and once you sort of get that down it's going to change everything for you because you'll no longer be in that that thought loop you, you've learned how to sort of maneuver out of it in a very easy simple way so that is just a few of the ways I have I think about 15 different ways on the blog post on the website um, again I've linked to several videos that will help you and then there's some other articles that it links to if you want to learn more about your chakras I've got a link over to a article or a blog post that tells you all about that um, and again my quantum healing starter guide pairs really well with this um, blog post because because it shares additional things that you can do to really get your energy just in balance and alignment because when you do that that helps you to flow through each day just in the most easy way you know you learn how to release all of that chaotic energy that sort of keeps us weighed down and held down all of those worries um, you're going to learn how to release them so grab a copy of the starter guide check out the blog post and if you are ready to dive even deeper into your own inner healing to to find out what type of blockages that you're holding in the body where they're located where they came from and and ways that we can get them out of your physical body and your energetic field come see me for a quantum healing hypnosis session they are so amazing and I promise you after a session you're gonna feel so much lighter because we are gonna work to get your system nice and clean you're gonna learn more about who you are from a soul's perspective and you're gonna connect with your higher self your spirit guides your team of light to understand more about their role in your life and ways that they are helping you to live your very best life so all of that's on the website at awakenascending.com. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and let me know. I would love to work with you. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I will see you in the next one.